converting a fraction to a terminating decimal. Here we're asked to write 29 25 as a decimal and we're going to do that really with one step and that one step is long division. Once we do the long division that will give us our equivalent decimal. So let's see 29 Keep in mind that this fraction, 29 25 here, this is 29 divided by 25. So when we set it up for long division, the 25 is going to be the first number, the one on the outside, and the 29 is underneath. It's a very common mistake to put those in the wrong order when we switch from a fraction to a decimal. But 25 goes into 29. We can do that with long division. 25 goes into 29 once, and 1 times 25 gives us 25. We do our subtraction and we get 4. Uh, we don't want to have remainders though because we're asked to convert this to a decimal. We want to be able to keep dividing, and we can do that by adding zeros onto the end here. We can add a decimal since there wasn't one there, and we can add another zero to bring down and make that 40. So 25 goes into 40 also one time. 1 times 25 is 25. Do our subtraction again. This time we get 15 and we still have a remainder so I want to keep adding zeros. I'm going to add another one to bring down here. And now 25 goes into 150. This time it goes in 6 times. 6 times 25 is 150. We have no remainder, so that's how we know we can stop, and we have converted that fraction, 29 25 we have converted it into a decimal, 1.16.